video price picks today nba slate i think this might be the last nba slate that we have two games this season we got boston milwaukee huge game six we got golden state memphis huge game six like i said might be the last time we have two games on the nba slate so i mean western conference eastern conference finals i think might be opposite days of each other or you know one day one day one day so again we're gonna have to wait till next season to get these two nba games each day at least minimum two nba games but nonetheless five plays today on price picks that i really do like again i'm not a gambling expert this is just the plays that i'm looking at making um, there is a link in the description below to sign up for price picks they do match 100 percent of your first deposit and also the thing i like about price picks is that if you don't hit all your say you do five picks you only hit four or five you can still win money even you can win some money not all your money back but you will get some money back um even if you hit three of five so nonetheless five plays today Boston, Milwaukee, Golden State, Memphis. Let's get into it. So the first play that I like is going to be Giannis points. Um, it's going to be Giannis points, and I'm going to take his over on this. He's hit this over his last two games, or last three, like last three games actually, 42, 34, and 40. His line jumped. I think the last two games it was his line was at 30 and a half. Um, but he's taken over this series. I think he's really establishing himself as debatably the best player in basketball if not the most dominant player just an unstoppable force no one can really do anything to stop him um they've put boston has put jalen brown jason tatum al horford robert williams and even some marcus smart everyone's tried to guard him um just unstoppable you can see his game log 31 13 and 6 on the season 40 34 42 28 24 the first two games against at boston were kind of tough for him, but he's been shooting at least 25 shots each game, field goal percentage, 53, 43, 59, and I just think for the line being 32 and a half in a closeout game back home in Milwaukee, you know, this is a home game for Milwaukee, game six, back home in Milwaukee in a closeout game, Milwaukee, uh, Giannis has that mentality, I think he plays extremely, extremely aggressive tonight, and I like his 32 and a half over points. The next one is going to be um, fantasy score and one that we've been making one that's been a lock it seems like this entire series is going to be the Al Horford over 34 fantasy points 35 42 54 46 37 in his last game that was in Milwaukee he had 46 now the one before that 54 so it has been going crazy um, 34 is the line I think still a little low for Al Horford he's playing obviously extremely well in this series um, last game didn't play that well but still at 34 fantasy points because he had 8 points, 8 rebounds, 6 assists, 3 steals, and a block. And only 1 turnover. So, you know, that's going to equate to a pretty decent fantasy score. Had been scoring the ball really well in the previous 4 games in this series. Played well against um, Brooklyn and honestly has been playing pretty decent all season. 15-9 and 59-3. and, 59 and three. I mean, Al Horford, people were saying that his career was done when he was in OKC. So, it's good to see him playing well. I like the over here in a must-win game for Boston. Huge must-win game, obviously must-win game for Boston. Um, I like Al Horford's over 34 fantasy points. Um, the next one, we're going to come over here to rebounds, and this is another play that we've been making this entire series, and that's the thing about these playoff series is that they kind of allow you to you know, see these patterns and minutes played, um, play styles, who's guarding who, and you know, you're kind of can co somewhat confidently take these plays again and again, and it's going to be Brook Lopez over. Now, he did not hit against Boston in Game 5, and you're kind of disappointed that a lot of people, I think a lot of people smashed the over here on this, not just myself, but the, the line has dropped. It was six and a half. Now it's back down to five and a half, which he did hit here when it was uh, game two and he had six, but he hit this over uh, four of his last five. His average over the last five is 7.2. I just think Brooke Lopez playing, playing pretty good minutes, 20, 28, 25, 29, 29 and 20. I just think <clears throat> they kind of took him out the game. Boston did, I mean, in Milwaukee, you know, Boston defensively took him kind of out the game in game five. Uh, I expect him back at home to play again back to his 25-minute mark, get a couple rebounds early on, maybe two or three in the first quarter, and really set the tone for himself to be able to get that six rebound sometime in the fourth. Um, so I like the over here, Brooke Lopez over five and a half rebounds. Um, so those three are for the Milwaukee-Boston game. Giannis over, Al Horford over, Brooke Lopez over. Coming down to Golden State versus Memphis, this is a huge game six. No John Moran again. Tyus Jones hasn't been playing very well. Um, look at his fantasy score last two games. He's he's the ba best backup point guard in the NBA. 
I'll go ahead and say it now. And there's a small chance that I think he deserves a starting spot somewhere, but that remain. We'll we'll see what happens with that. But I like Jaron Jackson Jr. over 34 fantasy score. Um, he smashed this over his last two games without Jaw 48, 42. The fantasy score being 34, a little low for me. Um, so I'm taking the over here. This season without John Morant, 18, 18, 5 and 2, 21 games. He's you know, he he scored the ball, played, had his blocks. The blocks are what's really gonna push his fantasy score up. That's why I like his fantasy score over more than any other category compared to like PRA or rebounds or points even. I like fantasy score because he he he's such a menace on the defensive end, and he gets those blocks. Um, you know, so let's see, what does he even does he even have block block shots? No, it's not even a category, but. Yeah, Jaron Jackson Jr., I think he had, a couple games ago, he had five blocks. Um, so those, obviously, five blocks is three points in fantasy score on, on prize picks. So the combination of that, uh, I really, really like uh, Jaron Jackson Jr.'s over 34 fantasy score here. And then finally, the last play is going to be an under. We're going to go to turnovers, which prize picks recently added turnovers as a category. And I'm going to take the under on the Steph Curry three turnovers under here. You can see here, average of the last five, 2.4. You see, he's only hit this over one time, right? This, this game four, it was a push. It would have been three, which I'll take the push. That's why I like the line of 3.0. I like to have at least one push or possible push in my lineup. He hit five here in game two in Memphis, but these two games back in Golden State, one, three, and two, one, I guess it turnover in game one. I just like the under here, back at home, Steph Curry, under three assists. I really, really like it. So those are my five plays today. Let me know in the comments below how you guys feel about these five lines. Hit that subscribe button. Hit the notification bell. Drop a like on this video. And as always, have a great day.